Don't agree. E magba. E magba. They want to turn you to a prostitute. Don't agree. This one sleep with you, then drop you. Another person will come and carry you. Don't agree. You are not a prostitute. They want to play you like ball, play you over there, then another person play you down. No, 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 no. They can do it to other people, not you. I'm not a person. Oh, I am not that type of person. I'm not that type of person, sir. If you are looking for that type of person, you go elsewhere. Not me. Hey, Miko. They say, come and do what? Then you get there. They say, come tomorrow. You come tomorrow. They say, come next week. You get there next week. They say, no, be like that. You come another month. Not like that. You are not that type of person. Don't play me around. But in Jesus' name we pray. Say amen again. Put your hand together and sit down. But Can you return this verse to the screen? But, everybody say, but. but. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We have been likened to the ego. And it's about strength and the ego. Shall renew their strength and then mount up like the ego. So we're talking of two things, two things, two things. One, strength and then the ego of all the birds that God created. I studied birds in the university. I studied birds to the highest level. I did my research on birds. Of all the birds that God made, the ego is the strongest. May your strength be like the ego. The ego can kill an animal like a goat and carry it and fly away with it. It can fly away with a prey that is 20 times his body weight. Carry it and fly. The ego is the strongest. The ego snatched the baby of a lion. In the presence of a lion, he collected the baby and drove the lion away. May you have the strength of the ego. Yeah. To, to collect baby from a lion, <laughs> you must be ready to die. The ego has snatched baby from lion. The ego snatched baby from anything. The ego does what it wants because it's very powerful. But one of the assets of the eagle is this. That is very light. It's not heavy. The Bible says we should shed every weight and every sin that beset us. The eagle is light. Turkey is also a bird. 
but it doesn't fly because of weight. Broilers, chicken, ostrich is also a bird, but it cannot fly because of body weight. And they are the easiest of prey to be caught and eaten. The eagle catches other animals and eat it. Nothing catch eagle. May you be an eagle Christian. Yeah. The eagle catch prey from a lion. Snatch the baby of a lion and carry it away in the presence of the lion. The eagle catch prey and eat it. Nothing eats it. Nothing catch it. May God make you an eagle Christian. You will no longer be praying about witches. You will no longer be praying about wizards. You will no longer be praying about familiar spirits. May God take you beyond those limits where somebody is, is doing charm. Which charm? Let him bring it out. May God bring you to a level where you will not be terrified by anything. Amen. Say loud amen. amen. Every amen you say to the proclamation and the declarations I'm making about your strength. Every amen you say, we add one more level. Yeah. The eagle soar the highest level to the level no other bird can attain to. And for it to attain those levels, it soar the highest level is because it can handle storm. Those of you who are used to flying, we came by air peace from Abuja to Lagos yesterday. It was one of the most turbulent flights I ever took in recent time. At a point I was even thinking maybe it's because of where we sat. Because we sat at the back that maybe the tail of the aircraft is the thing carrying it. So we were praying to land. And we landed. And I told myself, I will never go and sit at the back again. Because maybe that's the, the thing that is causing it. But what am I talking about? Those of you who fly an aeroplane, you know, that you get to a certain level, the storm will be vibrating the aircraft like this. The storm at, at 27,000 feet above sea level has no tree, no building, nothing to stop the wind. It's just blowing recklessly at its own speed and, and circumstance. The storm at a higher level is baffling and frightening. The ego goes to that level and is able to keep its direction. No storm can change its direction. It's able to keep its balance. The ego can handle storm. What makes the ego soar is the fact that it can handle storm. I want you to be an eagle Christian that can handle storm. If they bring storm, you are there. If the thing is blowing everybody, you keep your steady. You keep your, you keep your focus. You keep your direction. You are not changing direction because of the rough wind. Eagle Christian is not a Christian that is always, uh, today is uh, Jacob, tomorrow is uh, Esau. Uh, depending. You know, when Isaac asked Jacob, what's your name? He looks so because that day is a blessing for Esau. So he said his name is Esau. Then another time, an angel came and said, what to bless you? He said, what to, so what's your name? You have to think, because his name depends on the, the situation. An ego Christian is a steady and stable brother. As he was, that's how you meet him. He's not going to change or blend. He's not going to adulterate what he believes in because of any situation. The ego Christian swore and lives a normal life in the storm. You must be able to handle the storm. The eagle soar to a level where he looks down at other things and they are small. Those of you who fly, you know, you come to a point, these houses that are tall, they look like uh, 
Tim Meek. That it is tall. And you are seeing it as tall. It's because of your level. You get to a point it's like an ant. All this trailer passing, you get to a point, sir. You look down and see a trailer. It's like an ant. That you are seeing it as a trailer, sir, is because of your level. It's still the same trailer, but if you change your level, in fact, you get to a point, you don't even see it. Abi. You get to a point you don't even see it. It's your level. All this wizard we are talking about is correct. They are wizard. But it's because of your level. You get to a point, this wizard, you don't even know whether it exists. In the past 25 years, I've never prayed against a wizard. I hope to even see one. So I can handle it. In the past 25 years, I've never, I've never prayed against witch. What is which? I was traveling and I met arm robbers. They put us online like this. They've caged us in front. And vehicle is no more coming. The, the vehicle have stopped coming. They've seen that there are thieves in front, so they're turning back. And those of us already online. So they were robbing us one by one. When it came to my turn, their leader looked at me and said, You won't hear. You were baby. <laughs> I was not wearing round collar, I was not wearing cassock. I was not wearing cross chain of bishop. I didn't have cap. I didn't carry stick. He won't hear. Baby. <laughs> As for you, follow here. He used hand to guide me. Follow here and go, sir. Next. Would you God? Will somebody rise up and say, Are you a person? He said, Follow here, sir. Go. Next person. And next person came. I left. You will leave them behind. Yeah. Say it loud, amen. amen. Sit down. May you be an eagle saint that will be over and above everything you are seeing that are intimidating everybody. You will leave them behind and go. Yeah. The higher you go, the smaller. All this dual carriageway that you are seeing. Here. The reason they are doing carriageway is because you are here. You go to another level. It's still the same dual carriageway but it will be like a pencil line. Is somebody following me here? It's still the same dual carriageway but the way you will now see it it will be as if they use pencil to draw one line. All this trailer, all this 10 story, 20 story you get to a point, it will look like a, a thin, thin meek. The way it's looking big is because of your level. The eco Christian goes to a level where the big things that are big to everybody is small. One man came to my church one day, he's a Muslim. And after service, he walked up to me and said, Sir, I'm a Muslim. My wife and children attend this church. They are over there. But I don't come to this church. I had a dream into this morning. 
and I saw Jesus. And Jesus carried me in his hands and took me up into the sky. He introduced himself when he came. He said, I am Jesus. And he took me to a level. And he showed me the things that are here in this world. I saw houses. He asked me, he said, can you see them? I told him I can see them. He said, okay. Then he took me further and asked me the same question. Are you still able to see them? He said, I can see them, but they are, they are now very small. He said, that's how they are. Then we, he took me to a point where I can no longer even see them. So he asked me if I was seeing them. I told him I cannot see anything again. So he told him, he said, that is how the world is. He said, the higher you come up, the smaller the things in this world will be. He said, you even go to a point, you won't see them again. He said, that is the message I have for you. The higher you go to God, the smaller the things in this world will be. He said, you even get to a level that you will no longer even. Not that they are not there, they are there, but you will not see them. Or if any, by any means you even see them, you'll be seeing them with the eye of God. They will be taking their correct size in the eye of God. He said, I thought he was going to throw me down from there and I was afraid. But he told me, he said, I don't want you to be a Muslim anymore. I want you to be a Christian. And I want you to start to go to church. He said, and I then asked him, which church should I go? He said, Jesus put his hand into a pocket and brought out a picture. And showed me the picture of a man. He said, do you recognize this person? He said, I used to see this person on television. And that is my picture. And he said, that's the church I want you to be going. And he put back the picture into his pocket. And brought him down and landed and flew away. So he then walked into the church that Sunday morning. We have seen terrible things, sir. We finished a crusade in the night. And one woman was going home. There are thieves along that line. And the thief collected the handbag from her. The woman was shouting that I'm coming from prayer. I'm coming from a crusade. Where is it? Which crusade? And you are still outside by this time. He said, Baba Mole is crusade. Baba Mole is crusade. He said, where is the evidence? He said, the evidence is inside the bag. He brought out my hand bill and showed the thief that is the, the, the man that you are seeing in the picture that is doing crusade. My picture was shouting at the thief. Liver! the thief dropped the bag and ran. Am I a person? If you like, say yes. I know I'm not a person. Have you ever seen the, the handbill, the picture of the guest speaker inside the handbill was shouting at the thief? If you, don't, if you don't know me, I know myself. I'm not a person. What you will get from me as I preach to you depends on how you see me. What you will get from what you are, you are hearing me preaching to you will depend on how you are seeing me. The thing is inside me. You come to my church on Sunday morning, you will see chief imam sitting down. You see Muslims that Jesus went and spoke to them and said, go to that church. We are winning souls without evangelism. I pray for somebody here that what others are sweating, what others are toiling, what others are suffering to get, you will get simple. Yeah. What others are going to bank to take a loan, you will get it simple. Yeah. 
Last week, a bank called me and said they want to give me loan. I said, I don't want. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that what others are struggling to get, you will get simple. What others are fasting to get, you will get simple. What others are doing night vigil to get, you will get simple. You will marry simple. You will born simple. You will get a car simple. You build a house simple. Say yes. Sit down. Let me close. The ego Christian. There's only one enemy the ego has. And it's the raven. Or crow. Crow. C-R-O-W-E. It will sit on top of the neck of ego and be pecking it. The ego will turn. It will turn with it. You watch this uh, Air Force plane sometimes that want to do, they turn like this, turn around like this. They copy it from the ego. The ego can turn, can rotate itself in the air. The crow, this the the this board that I'm the, the board that I'm talking about will cling to the ego in such a way that even when the ego rotates, it will it will cling to it like that and be pecking it. When the ego notices that it can no longer handle this enemy, it takes a vertical flight. It flies, it, it doesn't fly like this anymore, it flies direct and keeps going. And keeps going. And keeps going. Raising the altitude. <laughs> Overcoming an enemy by raising the altitude. <laughs> the, the eagle gets to a level where the raven cannot handle the storm. Cannot handle the weather over there. It cannot handle the fact that there is no oxygen anymore. So the raven falls off by itself. So the eagle fights the raven by raising the rise up on your feet. Victory by raising the this one. You are going to tell the, the devil or whoever is pursuing you that let's go. I will take you to a, a level where you, you cannot handle the situation around that place. My people, we are going to a level where witches cannot stand. We are going to a level where wizards cannot stand. Don't even bother to talk to them. If you want to leave them. Let's raise our... We get to a level where he can't... Why did you think... Listen, listen. Why do you think Jesus told Peter, James, John, come. Let's raise the altitude. And they got to the mountain of transfiguration, sir. The Bible says Elijah and Moses came down. Moses will not go that far down, but they can come this level. You need to raise your level to the place where angels appear. Angels and witches cannot be there together. Are you following me? Angels and witchcraft cannot be there together. So let's raise the level. I can tell my enemies, let's go. I will reach a level that you can survive there. I will reach a level where you can't, you, you won't even find air to breathe. The level gets to a level where there is no more oxygen that is enough to sustain it. It falls off the neck of the ego by itself. The ego is merely saying, stay there and let's go. I pray for every one of you that the enemy is hunting down your life. Raise your altitude. <laughs> ah, raise your level. Say, Father, I'm coming over. I'm raising the level where the enemy cannot reach. This morning, I will be an eagle Christian. I'll be an eagle brother. 
In the name of Jesus, I will be an eagle sister. I will raise the level where the enemy cannot reach.